Hey, it's Yay for Yarn, and today I'm reviewing the Radiant Wood Crochet Hook from We Crochet. So this hook actually came with a kit that I got from We Crochet, and I wanted to just kind of try it out, test it out, and see what I thought of it compared to some of the other hooks that I have. So this one is made of laminated birch, and if you've ever watched any of my knitting needle videos, you know how much I love laminated birch knitting needles. And the reason that I love laminated birch so much is because of the, the feel of the material. It's not grippy like some other wood needles are, or, or other wood hooks for that matter. A lot of wood hooks and needles kind of have a grippy surface to them where they don't let the yarn glide super smoothly and that's fine if you're not going for speed but I like to crochet and knit pretty fast so I really prefer a hook or needle that allows the yarn to glide smoothly but without being so slick that the stitches just fall off on their own. So this is my first time trying a laminated birch crochet hook and so far I love it. This is one of the nicest wooden hooks that I have tried and of course if you're looking at this hook going you know how do they get it striped like that that's not just like painted on there that's the layers of wood so from what I understand they have like little real thin super thin layers of wood that are dyed different colors and then they stack them all together and then cut it into these little rods or whatever that they use to make the, the hooks and the needles. So my first favorite thing about this hook is that smooth, slick surface that does not allow the stitches to just fall off, but it lets them glide very quickly and smoothly. And I also like that the birch has some warmth to it. It's not cold like a metal hook, and it also does not... Um, like with the knitting needles, the metal knitting needles kind of bang up against each other. The birch needles don't do that. So I am already a huge fan of laminated birch in knitting needles. So trying this in a crochet hook was something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And they also sell these in interchangeable crochet hooks where that you can screw the hook onto a long cable and use it for Tunisian crochet. So if you're into that, they also have hooks that are, are great for that. But for now, let's look at this particular hook. This is just the regular hook. This is a size G or four millimeter hook. And if we look at it kind of from bottom to top, you can see that at the bottom, it has these little lines kind of etched into it all the way around, right here and right here. And then we kind of have this little bit of a flat spot. So there's a little bit of a flat section notched out on the handle. And that is for kind of where you would rest your thumb as you're crocheting. But on the back side, it's very round and smooth. And even the flat spot area is very, very smooth. And until you hit the little, um, that very gentle bump right there that where it goes back up into the shaft of the needle, you don't even realize it's flat because it's so smooth and rounded. It doesn't have like a corner to it at all, so I really like that. But the main thing that I want to talk about here is the tip. The tip of a crochet hook for me is what makes or breaks the hook. And of course the material is super important for me as well. But the tip can make a big difference in whether this is a hook that I want to use all the time or whether it's a hook that I put in my like backup pile that in case of emergency I have it but I don't actually use it that much. So this particular hook has what I think is the perfect tip for a wooden crochet hook. And the reason why I say that is because this is an inline hook. I don't normally go for inline hooks, not because I don't like them, but because a lot of inline hooks have a very close proximity from the thumb rest to the actual hook tip. So it's great for people who crochet pencil style, but I prefer the knife grip where you just kind of hold it like this. And I don't really like to be that close to the hook tip when I'm crocheting. So I prefer the thumb rest to be a little further back. So that's why I don't normally go for like the Susan Bates hooks. But another thing that I don't love about a lot of inline crochet hooks is that if you see here how this is notched out, 
this right here is notched out so that it can grab the yarn. A lot of inline crochet hooks do not have a very deep notch, so it's kind of like only cut out to about there, and it doesn't give you as much room to grab the yarn and pull it through. This hook has a super deep notch in it, which was actually very surprising to me because I was not expecting it to be that deep, but it has a really nice deep notch in the hook. But the other thing that I like about this tip is the thickness of this part right here. I don't know what this particular part is called, but this is the edge of the notched out part. Not only is it super smooth and rounded on the edge so that it doesn't snag the yarn, it is also flush with the shaft of the needle. And a lot of inline crochet hooks that I have tried seem to be a little bit, um, they kind of stick out a little bit compared to the shaft of the needle. And I can't tell if this one sticks out or not, but to me it looks pretty flush with the shaft of the needle. And the reason I like that is because when you're going through a stitch, you insert in and then you pull the yarn back out, that helps keep it from snagging on the yarn. And that is one thing that I don't really love so much about some of the other wooden crochet hooks that I have tried, or even some of the other inline crochet hooks that I have tried. They kind of tend to snag as you pull it back through the stitch. And this one does not. It has a very smooth, rounded edge on that notched out section, but I love how that this is flush with the shaft of the needle. It might be just the tiniest bit um, sticking out, but it's so minor as far as how much it sticks out that you don't even notice it. It appears to be at least totally flush or almost completely flush with the shaft of the needle, and that is something that I really love. I also appreciate here that this notch, which starts about right here and then goes up into the tip of the hook, it does not have a totally flat section here and then like corners on the edges where that it was cut out. It's very smooth and where it is cut to make that notch is very rounded. The, the edge is very rounded there. So it has a very smooth feel to it and I think that also helps the yarn glide better. Now the one thing, and this is literally the only thing that I would have liked to have seen different on this hook, is the handle. This is a pretty thin handle. Now if you compare this to like your regular aluminum crochet hooks, this isn't going to be any different than what you've got as far as the thickness of the handle. But I really prefer a thick, and I mean like three-fourths of an inch thick, handle on my crochet hooks because I do a lot of crocheting for my channel and for my blog. And so if I use a hook with a skinny handle for long periods of time, it makes my hand get tired faster and it kind of gets kind of stiff. And that's, for me, I think that's because your hand is closed up more when you have to gr grasp this little skinny handle. And so that is why I generally don't use hooks with a smaller handle if I'm going to be using it for any length of time, you know, for several hours in one day, because my hand being closed that much to grasp the hook kind of tends to tire my hand out, and it, it almost hurts a little bit. So I would love to see this hook with a jumbo handle on it, about that big, about three-fourths of an inch thick. And if, if this hook just had a thicker handle that was more ergonomic so that my hand did not have to close all the way to hold it, then this would be like the perfect wooden crochet hook for me. And I think this would be an amazing hook if it just had that thicker handle. If you don't have a problem with the, the thinner handles and you like thinner handles, then this hook is amazing. I love the feel of the birch. The hook tip is perfect. I just wish it had a bigger handle on it so that I could use this for several hours at a time and not get quite as tired with my hand being closed that much. Now I should add here that I don't like squeeze the, the hook as I'm using it. I use a very gentle grasp on the handle 
It's just that when your hand is closed more, it puts more strain on your wrist and your other muscles in your hand when you are moving it around a lot and doing these little tiny swivelly motions. So if this hook just had a bigger handle, it would be like the best wooden crochet hook that I've ever tried. And I would say it would even be better than a Furls Streamline. And the reason I say that is because um, I do have a video on my Furl Streamline hook, by the way, if you want to go check that out. But the reason that I say that is because the Furl Streamline hooks, as far as the wooden ones, they don't have this slick, smooth, laminated surface to them. It's just like, you know, very smooth wood, but it has a lot of grip to it. And for me, I'm not a huge fan of, of hooks that have a ton of grip because I like to go pretty quickly. And the, the, the grippiness of a streamlined hook does not allow that. It, it's kind of, it doesn't let the yarn slide very quickly. And the other thing is the tip on the, the Furl's streamlined hook as far as the wooden one. It doesn't have quite as uh, rounded and smooth of the, the cut edges where it's notched out. And so I have found that that has tended to um, get caught every now and then on the stitches. So anyway, I think that if this had a bigger handle, it would be better than a furl streamline. But um, I will definitely hang on to this hook. I love the hook. And I will be using it for maybe smaller projects that I'm not going to be using it for, you know, a couple hours at a time. Because I really love the feel of the hook. Obviously, it's beautiful. I love the colors, the stripes. Um, but I really like the feel of this hook. If I could just, you know, give my hand a break and not use it too much and have to have my hand closed so small when I'm, when I'm using the hook. So I want to give you some examples of what I think about the hook when you are pushing it in and out of fabric. So this is a swatch that I started doing. This yarn is Capretta from We Crochet. And I know somebody's going to ask about the stitch pattern. This is a very simple stitch pattern where you're working in the back loop only and in the front loop only. And I'm going to probably use this in an upcoming design. So stay tuned for that. But I just grabbed this to swatch. Partly because I thought it matched the hook really nicely because it's kind of purple. Anyway. So this is a back loop only and front loop only kind of stitch. So these are half double crochet. And I like how the hook kind of goes in and out of the stitches very smoothly. It doesn't catch and it doesn't pull. So this goes in and out of this natural fiber yarn. It's part wool and part cashmere. And the hook goes in and out of these stitches very smoothly they do not get stuck on the hook tip and they also do not um, have a problem gliding across the shaft of the hook. But when you're working into both loops, I have a swatch over here for that as well. When you're working into both loops, sometimes it gets caught a little more often, I think. So I'm going to do a little bit of double crochet here. And this is a generic acrylic yarn that I had some left over. But I have found so far that this hook does not snag on the acrylic. It does not catch when you're pulling it in and out of stitches. Unless your stitches are really tight, then it can be a little bit harder to insert. But that is the same with any hook. But I really like how the, the rounded shape of this tip goes in and out of the stitches. It comes into the stitch very smoothly. It does not split the yarn. And the shape of that, um, the way that hook is cut, does not catch on the way back out of the stitch. So I'm going to kind of turn around and do another half a row with some single crochet here. And part of the reason why I don't want my my hand super close to the tip of the hook is because I don't like putting my finger up here and that's kind of instinctive to me to put my finger up here as I am working but that makes it harder on my hand so having the thumb rest further back helps me to remember not to do that because my finger doesn't quite reach all the way to where I would normally put it if I was 
putting my finger there. So this is definitely one of the best wooden hooks for going in and out of stitches smoothly. It has good glide to it. And I just love how everything is kind of rounded over so that it's not a sharply cut edge on any of these parts of the hook. So do I think this is a great hook? Yes, absolutely. If it just had a thicker handle on it, I would buy these all the time. And I probably wouldn't buy a whole lot of other kinds of hooks because I just love the laminated birch feel. It's one of my favorite hook and needle materials. The knitting needles that I use I, I basically use birch, uh, laminated birch knitting needles exclusively. Um, and I get them from Knit Picks, which is like the sister company to We Crochet. So this is the same kind of laminated birch that they have over at Knit Picks. And I really love the material. So as I said, if this just had a thicker ergonomic handle, I would use this all the time. And this would be one of my favorite crochet hooks ever. So if you want to give this hook a try, you can go click the link down in the description box below and go visit the We Crochet website. They have a bunch of great stuff on there, but these hooks are one of the great things that they have on their site. And as I mentioned before, if you're into Tunisian crochet, they also have the interchangeable hooks where you can screw the hook onto a cable and have all your stitches sitting on a long, flexible cable for Tunisian crochet. If you think this might be a good fit for you in a crochet hook, go check it out. And if you've tried this hook before, let me know what you think, because I'd love to hear your thoughts. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you've ever tried this crochet hook, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, making sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching.